Hello, I'm Dave Birdsall of Eskin Corporation, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about EskinDB, which is our new product that's based on the Apache Trifodian open source project. So first, let me tell you a little bit about our company. We're a little company. We started in July of 2015 to promote EskinDB, which is a, a hardened commercial version of the Apache Trifodian open source project. Now, Apache Trifodian is a code base that we've been working on for a long time, some of us for 25 years or more. Uh, it came originally from Tandem Computers, uh, the uh, nonstop database group there, and matured over time and evolved into various products at Compaq and HP. And uh, we put this code into open source in 2014 and uh, are now creating a commercial product based on it. So our company's small, there's 51 of us, 30 in the San Francisco Bay Area and 21 in Shanghai and China. And uh, amongst us, we have about 450 person years of experience working on massively parallel SQL engines. So we know this stuff well and we enjoy working on it. So we keep finding ways to keep working on it. Now SkinDB itself, uh, is uh, and Apache Trivodian provide an ANSI SQL implementation on top of uh, Hadoop. It's SQL 99 compliant with some 2003 features. Uh, it provides ACID transactions and it leverages Hadoop for scalability. Now it was originally based on a scalable architecture at Tandem and Compaq and so on, uh, namely the, the nonstop product line. So we take those scalability advantages and we port them to the Hadoop platform. Now if you look at how big data has evolved and where we position ourselves within big data, big data started with batch processing. So in the beginning Hadoop was MapReduce and MapReduce was large Java uh, jobs that uh, uh, one wrote to crunch massive amounts of data and the jobs would take hours or even days and, and yield uh, interesting analytical insights. Over time, of course, it, it became more interesting to uh, run shorter jobs or do quicker analysis, uh, but it was still non-interactive, so you still had batch processing and things like dashboards and scorecards. Uh, but the response time starts to get smaller. And as time goes on, people become interested in actively mining the data. So sitting at a, at a terminal and, and just mining the, uh, the data lake. So uh, that evolved into interactive processing. You see the rise of scripting languages like Pig and Hive and SQL implementations because it's a lot easier to write a SQL query than it is to write uh, a MapReduce job. So you start to see things like parameterized reports and drill downs from uh, visual applications, uh, a more explorational sorts of thing. So response times here are now starting to get shorter. They're down in the minutes. And then finally over on the right, you're starting to get into operational stuff. Uh, this was the province of merchant database companies up until now, but now it's starting to find its way into the Hadoop world. We're starting to see things like real-time analytics, such as Spark. Um, and uh, that brings with it, once you put operational data out there, that brings it in, with it a need to do transactions and also to do SQL. So you want to do transactional SQL, you want to do online transaction processing, and you want to do operational query. And that's where we position ourselves. So the Apache Trifodian database was originally a database that was targeted towards OLTP and transactional SQL. And in its early days, it was uh, very leading edge in its transactional performance. So we're bringing that technology to the Hadoop world. Now, how do we integrate with Hadoop? So in this picture, you can see some green layers and some blue layers. The uh, green layers are what you get with Hadoop, and the blue layers are the layers that um, SkinDB and Apache Trivodian bring to the table. So you can see on the bottom you have HDFS file system. Uh, you can imagine swapping that out for other file systems if you're in a cloud environment, for example. And you have the HBase and Hive layers on top of that. And on top of HBase, we've added a distributed transaction manager. So this is based originally on the 
HBase TRX open source project that was part of HBase. And we've taken that and we've hardened it, we've uh, expanded it, we've made it work with uh, uh, distributed regions and distributed statements and, and uh, uh, multiple rows and so on. And having a distributed transaction manager solves the problem of having consistent secondary indexes in HBase. So, so this by itself is a big step forward. And on top of that, we add our SQL compiler and optimizer and executor. So this is Apache Trifodian uh, with SKNDB hardening. And then on top of that, we have client services for ODBC and JDBC. We support uh, 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 Apache Trifodian supports its own wire protocol that can talk to off-platform ODBC clients or off-platform JDBC type 4 clients. Uh, a JDBC Type 2 driver is also supported, and that runs on platform. So um, again, we leverage the uh, Hadoop components for um, things like data storage and data management and scalability. We also leverage things like Zookeeper uh, in order to keep cluster configuration information. And we leverage the monitoring and management layers that Hadoop brings to the table. So for example, if you're in a Cloudera environment, you can use Cloudera Manager to monitor your HBase tables and uh, uh, then manage, uh, uh, then we have separate tools that allow you to manage Trifodian on top of that. Let's go to the next slide. Let me talk a little bit about how Eskin is architected. So again, we leverage the core modules of Hadoop, so things like HDFS and HBase and Zookeeper. So we use that for cluster management and storage. We inherit their scalability and availability characteristics. And the layer that we provide on top of that um, is where we bring our differentiation. So we give you a, a very comprehensive SQL implementation. It's been hardened both in the OLTP and the enterprise data warehouse world. So it's a very full featured implementation. We provide the relational uh, schema abstraction on top of HBase. So SKNDB and Apache Trifodian uh, have a notion of table. When you create a Trifodian table, it is actually an HBase table under the covers. It has a specific format, so we do things like optimize the uh, encoding of the column names to save space. Um, we uh, map SQL data types down into bits and bytes at the HBase level. So you could actually look at a Trifodian table with HBase, but it would look strange to you. Um, but we also support access to native HBase tables. So you can access uh, uh, HBase cells or HBase rows with extensions that we've added to uh, Trifodian's SQL dialect. Um, we provide automatic query parallelism, and this is an area of differentiation for us because uh, in many early SQL on Hadoop implementations, uh, the only level of parallelism uh, provided is down in the region servers, and that's fine for certain things. So uh, there's a large class of parallel queries that run very well. In, in that limited architecture. So things like select count star from T, you can have each region server count up its rows uh, individually and forward a partial result to a, uh, a query route which adds them up. But one thing we provide, and uh, this is technology that goes back to tandem days, is um, uh, the notion of ESPs or executor server processes. And these are very useful for things like uh, joins and, and grouping operations that are not organized in the same way as the regions. So if I'm joining on a join column that doesn't correspond to the HBase partitioning criteria, so it's not part of the clustering key, for example, those join values are going to be distributed over all of the HBase region servers. So the same value might appear in any one of them. But in order to do an efficient parallel join, 
I want to take all the rows that have a particular value for a join column and put them in one place, in one process, and do the same for the table that I'm joining it with. And that's the purpose of the ESP layer. So I can dynamically repartition data into uh, that layer and do my joins and my grouping there. And if I have multiple joins or multiple grouping operations in the same query, I can have multiple layers of ESPs and repartition the data between them. Uh, if this looks a bit like a MapReduce kind of architecture, it is. It's a generalization of that. Um, another thing that we provide in SkinDB and Apache Trifodian is distributed transaction protection. So a transaction can touch uh, any number of region servers. We provide transactional consistency across that. In this diagram, you see a DTM process. There's actually multiple of those. There's one of those per node in the cluster. And this provides scalability. So uh, a, the DTM process in a particular node coordinates the transaction processing of all transactions that were started in that node. Another thing that we provide is uh, uh, data integrity and security. So we leverage the uh, capabilities of HBase. So we integrate with HBase security to provide uh, security at the Trevodian level. Security is presented using a, a SQL uh, grant revoke style model. And as I mentioned before, we can seamlessly integrate with native HBase tables as well. So you can do, use Trifodian to actually uh, transactionally uh, query uh, H, native HBase tables. And we can also query Hive tables. Next, we're going to have a demo of uh, Esk and DB. So to start our demo, let's start in the Cloudera Manager. And you can see the uh, HBase uh, page within the Cloudera Manager. And it shows us some interesting things. So in our particular demo, we have a couple of region servers. And we have some tables. And if you squint, you can see there's 177 tables in, in HBase at the moment. And you can see that, uh, for example, there's one called Pick Adder. That's a native HBase table. And underneath it, you see one trifodian.opencart.oc address. That is a Trifodian table. And uh, as you can see, the Trifodian table just maps into an HBase table and has HBase attributes. So all the HBase attributes that you know and love can be applied to Trifodian tables. Now we're going to switch over to the Eskin DB Manager. So this is a manageability tool that can be used to interface to uh, Eskin DB. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create a new Trifodian table. And the table has been created. Now if we go back over to the um, uh, Cloudera Manager, we can see that we now have 178 tables. So one more table has been created. And, and there's the table, the simple fraud table. Okay. And if you go over here, you can see that that table was created with four regions. So um, why was it created with four regions? Well, if we look at that uh, create table text. You see that clause salt using four partitions. And what we've done there is um, we have a primary key of order ID. And we've told Trifodian to hash partition the order IDs uh, across four regions. And what that does is it gives a very nice even distribution of the rows across the, uh, uh, the regions. OK, so the next thing we're going to show you is we're going to show you um, a uh, select against uh, uh, some tables. So let me walk you through the select here. So this particular select is joining two Trifodian tables to an HBase table. And the HBase table we're accessing on a row by row basis. So you can see the HBase table is identified by using a catalog name of HBase and the schema name of underscore row underscore. Now, if we were doing cell by cell access, that would say underscore cell underscore instead. Now, we need to use some functions to extract things from uh, an HBase table because it's schema on read. And that's what that column lookup function is doing. So it's looking in the column family for the uh, column called tag. And it's going to compare it against the beach fun string there. 
So as you can see, we're joining that table, pick details and album to that HBase table. Let's see what the query plan looks like. So what Trifodion has decided to do is it's going to scan the two Trifodion tables and do a hash join of them, and then take the result of that and do a hash join to um, HBase table. Now, it could have done this join in any order. It could have done the HBase scan first, um, and it could have used different join methods. It could have used a nested loop join. It could have used a merge join if the records happen to be in order, or perhaps a merge join with sorts underneath it. And the choice of what plan to use is determined by the Trifodian optimizer, which is a cost-based rule-driven optimizer. So now if we execute that query, you can see it executed very fast and it returned one picture ID. So there's one picture there, the Miami vacation with beach fun. Okay, the next thing we're going to show you, is we're going to show you a query where we're taking some data from uh, a hive table and inserting that into a Trifodian table. So we're inserting into the fraud table it's actually a summary of data from Hive. So we have some uh, order data in Hive and customer data in Hive, uh, which we're joining together. And uh, uh, we're producing some uh, sums on this and sticking that summary information into a Trifodian table. So to see the query plan, we'll do the explain. And you can see in this particular query, we're doing two Hive scans. We're doing a left join, uh, and the optimizer chose to do a nested join. We're doing two levels of grouping there. Why two levels? Well, if you look at the query, you can see that we've done a group by an order ID and order status. And then we take that intermediate result, and we're calculating sums on it, and doing a group by on another column. Okay. And then we're taking the result of that and flowing it over into an insert node, so that's going into a Trifodian table. So for our next example, let's do something a bit meatier. We're going to take a Jugundus query. This query actually has 11 joins in it. So if you look in the select list, if you're very patient to parse through that, the select list itself contains eight subqueries, so that's eight of your joins. And the from clause has a couple more left joins in it. So let's see what the explain plan is for that. And there it is. So if we could scroll down, we can see a backbone of nested joins. And these nested joins happen to be the subqueries that are in the select list. And again, the choice to do that was determined by the optimizer. It was uh, done on a cost basis. And then over on the left, you can see a couple of hash joins. Those are the left joins that we did uh, that are in the from clause. There's actually three of them there. So there's two hash joins and then a left nested join. So we did uh, uh, three scans of a table and then we did what's called a VSBB scan. Um, the nested join has a probe cache on top of it. So what a probe cache does is that if you take a value from the outer child and you want to find the matching rows in the inner child, you might have found that before because that outer value may have occurred before. So we cache those values to, to save a second lookup. That makes the plan run faster. Then we take those results, we group them using a hash group by, and then pipe those into the nested join. So one thing to notice here is that this is a pipelined architecture. So all of these subtrees can actually be executed in parallel uh, and will be executed in parallel. Um, for the most part, unless there's a blocking operator in the tree, such as a sort that it has to complete before it can send rows on. The kinds of parallelism that we have in Trifodian include this pipeline parallelism and what's called independent parallelism, where different branches of the query tree can execute in parallel. We also have partition parallelism, so we don't show it in this plan, but if the table were uh, partitioned over several regions, we could take a fragment of that query plan and execute it for each partition. 
So this is very sophisticated optimizer technology, which uh, again was developed originally in an OLTP world and then hardened in an enterprise data warehouse world and is now available in Trifodian. So some takeaways. SkinDB, as we've said, is based on Apache Trivodian and provides a number of things. It gives you a massively parallel SQL engine on top of Hadoop. It gives you ACID transactions for native Trivodian tables and for H-based tables. It has a fairly complete implementation of ANSI SQL uh, that's targeted for operational use. And from SkinDB and Apache Trifodian, you can access not only the native Trifodian tables, but also native HBase tables and Hive tables as well. And you can do so from the same query. Thank you very much for your attention. If you'd like to know more about us, you can find us on the web. We're at www.eskin.com.